Hi everyone, I hope you are well. Uh, it's a wonderful afternoon. It's a beautiful day. It's a Thursday. The week is ending. The week began well and we are finishing well. We have a lot to thank God for. Yeah, so uh, it's just something I've wanted to share with you, but um, I've not had time. Uh, really looking for time after work I get home really really tired and um, it becomes very hard for me to record anything but um, I'm, I'm inspired sorry I'm inspired uh, it was the day before yesterday in the morning I was combing my hair uh, just the other day I shaved my hair and I realized oh uh, my hair has really grown and I was and it just started thinking about my hair it was just my hair and then I had a voice in the spirit man telling me that um, I should not be worried so long as my hair grows and then I started remembering the story of Samson and I and I was, I was remembering how Samson screwed up in life, you know, gave out his secret, the secret of his strength, which he shouldn't have done, and and he really, you know, according to human understanding, he deserved to suffer for his mistakes. He actually it should have been his end has come. It should have been. His destiny can't, uh, you know, can be actualized. You know, um, God reminded me that you could have made a mistake that costed you to lose your strength, to lose um, your virtues. But God was coming strongly that he's a God of second chances. I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but I knew I needed to hear this. That God is a God of second chances. Probably our parents, great-grandparents could have screwed up big time such that their generations did not stand a chance. Be reminded that so long as your hair grows, then there is hope. The book of Job 14.7 says, I'm not sure whether it's 7.14 or 14.7, I'll confirm. It says, there is hope for a tree. If it be cut down, it shall sprout again. Yeah. It shall sprout again. I also wanted to share from the book, book of Exodus, chapter 1, verse 12, that the more they were oppressed by the Egyptians, the more they increased. What kind of oppression are you going through? What kind of suffering are you going through? You know, there are some of us who thrive in oppression, in the hardest of circumstances. That, in sh that shouldn't always be the case. It is God's joy that we are at rest. But there is also another side of this life where we thrive, where we thrive through hard times. And this is my prayer tonight, it's an afternoon, that we will thrive through this corona season, we will thrive. Through the lack and wants, we will thrive. Through Oppression from the enemy, we will thrive. We will increase. 
we will grow nothing is going to stop life will continue and we'll be victorious in the Lord children of God let's continue hoping in him who is faithful who is able to do it sittingly abundantly above what we ask okay so um, we need to always be reminded that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and those who are called according to his purpose okay so I'm going to read for uh, you the book of Philippians 4 Philippians 4 uh, from 4 to 8 from 4 to 8 rejoice in the Lord always I will say it again rejoice let your gentleness be evident to all the Lord is near do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God and the peace of God that transcends transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus amen so we are being reminded that we should rejoice in the Lord always I was listening to someone who was being interviewed by Sid Roth I can't remember the name of the person but he was saying that he has received the grace to rejoice to be happy at all times he was saying he can't even remember the last time he was offended rejoice in the Lord always this is the level I want to get to you know finally brothers and sisters whatever is true that is verse 8 whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things yeah you can choose what to think about and the Bible is also guiding us on what to feed our minds on feed your minds with whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely and whatever is admirable and if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, this is Paul speaking, or seen in me, put into practice. And the God of peace will be with you. Amen. So, um, we are being reminded to put into practice whatever we learn. Let us not just be hearers of the word, but let's also be doers of the same word.